in Brownsville, they expect you to fail. They expect you to stay in where you're at. They expect you to not be anything in life. You wouldn't think that something from Brownsville would get so big and catch people's attention. I was walking home from a store on Martin Luther King Day, and Brandon approaches me and he says, he's with the Humans of New York page on Facebook. He took some pictures and he asked me, who inspired you the most? And I answered my principal, Ms. Lopez. She would tell us how if we want to be anything in life, we have to work towards who we want to be, not what the society wants us to be. Now I understand that if I want to achieve my goal of being a chef and an actor, I can't argue with teachers because of my own self-ego. It really struck a chord with me because he thought of me enough. He could have said his mom, who's phenomenal. He could have said his aunt, his sisters. Like he could have said anyone in the world, but he chose to say that I was the one who had the most impact. What does a question look like? Because that's an honest question, right? What does what does a question? What does our body language suggest when we have a question? What happens? For me, what it comes down to is changing the narrative of what happens. We're one school with 191 kids out of 80,000 residents. I'm superior. I'm unique. Convince me. <laughs> this is rehearsal. You do it till you get it right, do it again. In this building, my kids are gonna feel like they're successful. And I have control in this building of what that looks like and what the expectations are. So did you apologize? I didn't get to, because she was about to cry fight or and fight. Everything. Okay, so what can we do to right this wrong? Go we'll say sorry? I mean, it's so simple, you knew the answer. I, I didn't want to do it right now. When, so when you want to do it? I don't know. I'll find her and I'll talk to her. I never wanted to be that person where the kids say, I've never seen my principal. Like, I think that's unacceptable. If you're the leader, you must lead. You must show your face. It causes people to become accountable. You think you act unacceptable? Did you just roll your eyes or are you going to use the words? Yes or no? No. No. So even if I'm not in there, I don't care who's in there. You act right. Right. Okay. Thank you, sir. You owned your behavior when you did it, right? So own your behavior when you're in front of your principal. And that's the conversation. So we're gonna work with this first. Because I know it's such a hard job, I lead by example. Before Vidal even said that, and the post was put out, I felt like nothing I was doing had an impact. He texts me and he says, Nadia, I just want you to know, um, I'm putting it up, hold on to your seats. Sure, no problem. I'm walking down the hallway, maybe like 45 minutes into after him calling me, and then one of my staff members said, Ms. Lopez, you know we made our goal? And I was like, what goal? He was like, the $100,000. I said, what? He was like, in 45 minutes. I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, like we made it. And I was just like, are you serious? Wednesday, Brandon was in my office and he was like, I'm going to put out the post about you speaking at assembly. And I said, okay, sure, that's what you do. And literally he presses the button and he was like, oh my God. And I was like, what's wrong? And he was like, it's going up $1,000 a minute. I was like, For what? Like everything for me is like, I can't like even fathom that for a moment I thought that I didn't matter, that my, you know, no one cared about these kids and, you know, outside of where we're at and people were just being so generous. And it was just the act of humanity that was overwhelming. It just felt like the most powerful piece. You going home or you got study hall? Tuesday, study hall? Hi, scholars. Did Mr. True make an announcement for y'all to watch The Ellen Show? She said to watch out, to 
to watch The Ellen Show? Because I'm going to be on TV. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. So they are outfitting every classroom at Mott Hall Bridges Academy with the state-of-the-art technology. And they're going to give similar grants to every school in the community. I tell my teachers all the time that we are chosen to be here because we're supposed to transform a community that doesn't believe in themselves. A lot of people will come here and say, I feel like it's hopeless, and now there's this feeling of hope. People are actually trying to make a change, trying to better the community here. It's good that people see that, because if they didn't see it now, then how long would it take before they seen it? Dear Ms. Lopez, I'd like to set up a time to talk about Vidal and the opportunity for him to receive a scholarship to the International Culinary Center upon graduating from high school. This is a really big deal, Vidal. You have like the golden ticket right now. All right. Thank you, Mr. You're welcome, honey. Oh, I told you, your dreams would come true.